What's going on, uh, guys and gals? Uh, just want to share something with you uh, really quickly. My last video, I was speaking to you about uh, understanding that we as the bride, uh, when, when Christ, our husband, births, something in us uh, for, in order for us to conceive these ideas they'll be conceived in sorrow and they'll be uh, or excuse me the sorrow will be greatly multiplied and uh, and then they will be uh, brought forth uh, in sorrow this was uh, you know one of the uh, one of the, the curses of Eve eating the fruit all right, but I wanted to share something else with you guys that I was just paying attention to Mary and her response to it all. And uh, when the angel of the Lord came to Mary and said that she was going to, you know, conceive a child, a lot of glare, going to conceive a child, you know, and this child would be, you know, Christ and uh, that sort of a thing. And then I, I, I just really believe just putting myself in, in her shoes, um, she, had to, she had to have an understanding that this was going to create a lot of turmoil in her life. Uh, she's not married, uh, but she's engaged. She's betrothed, you know. Um, and uh, she's, a, she's a virgin, but now she's about to have a baby. You know, this is going to create a lot of... A lot of difficult situations in her life uh, or has the potential to um, and then just you know quite naturally uh, pregnancy labor and delivery uh, these three processes are just naturally gonna be difficult for her also um, but her response was something that I really believe we as the body need to pay attention to and her response was so be it done in me and today, just realizing that the things that the Lord has for me to bring forth into, you know, unto life or whatever, uh, is going to involve some sorrow, greatly multiplied. But my response this morning was to the Lord was, so be it done in me. Regardless of what that's going to entail, so be it done in me. And I believe that that, that needs to be our response. And uh, I just want to encourage you guys that after having done all that you can do to stand, I want to encourage you to stand some more, you know, because the scriptures say that we will receive our reward, you know, if we faint not, you know what I mean? So just encourage you guys that yes it's gonna it's going it is a death process you have to die to yourself you know uh, something I always say the gospel will require your life uh, either it'll require you to live for the gospel or it'll require you to die for the gospel <laughs> you know what I mean uh, it's, it's one or the other though and uh, sometimes both um, but our response needs to be so be it done in me Christ said to Peter he said Peter Satan has desired to have you, that he might sift you as wheat. But I pray that your faith wouldn't fail you. And this is my prayer for you guys today. My prayer for you guys today is that your faith wouldn't fail you. Uh, if we really pay attention to it, I think Christ prayed right to the heart of the matter, to the thing that would bring Peter through. Uh-huh, hallelujah. Uh-huh. The, the thing that's going to bring Peter through is his faith. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, the thing that's going to ensure him victory in this battle uh, and going to ensure him, uh, ensure that the enemy not be able to have him is his faith. And that's why Christ prayed that his faith wouldn't fail. Him. So I pray that you, I pray for you guys that your faith wouldn't fail you and continue to hold on. Uh, I pray that after you've done all that you can do to stand, I pray that you still be able to stand, that the Lord will strengthen us. Uh -huh. And I pray that, uh, that you put your anchor and your faith in in this right here 
that you will receive your reward if you faint not. So as always, uh, it is my prayer earnestly, uh, fervently and effectually that the saints be fortified. It's truly my prayer that God be glorified in the earth and absolutely that the enemy be horrified uh, at, at, at the understanding that he'll see hell and we won't. Hallelujah. So, uh, keep the faith. And I pray for you that you would uh, speak boldly concerning the gospel as you ought to. Because you're an ambassador for the gospel. An ambassador in bonds. Alright? Amen. You guys have a good one.